all right guys welcome back to another video tutorial so in this tutorial we will look at what data mapping is so basically a data mapping is mapping between one data source to another so for example we have uh, one type of uh, data json data and we have another type of json data so how do we map these fields so inside this for example so this contains uh, some information about orders and this also contains the information about orders but if you uh, see so th these are some like in here uh, the, this field is directly is there but we have this total price thing which is not here and also uh, this price and volume is not present here as well so how do we map these fields into the target uh, data uh, i mean the data structure schema right so that is basically a data mapping so mapping between one data source field to another data source right so why do we need these kind of things right why do we need data data mapping so simple scenario is if we consider an example like like you have this data in your database and the api your service that you are going to call is that we it needs uh, the data in this structure right in only it only accept with this structure so we will need uh, some kind of mapping mapping mechanism uh, to call those apis right so let's see how we can create a simple microservice uh, that do this task for you do this mapping to you so that uh, when you give this type of data it will return the data of this type so that you can call the intended like api or something with this this data right so for that we will use uh, wsl2 micro integrator so we'll go to micro integrator studio here and we will create a new project by clicking on this right? and then we can give a name for the project we give like um, data mapping right we don't finish so we have created a new project now so we can go to uh, window show view and click on project explorer to explore the data of your project so then we are going to add a new api uh, here so click on this um, configs and new uh, rest api so we'll give uh, create a new api art from artifacts and we click on next and we'll give a name for the api uh, it will be the same same as the data mapper data mapper right and we can give the data mapper as the context as well so we can uh, leave others at easy it is and then click on finish right. so here's our resource and then what we can do is so we have to go to mediators and go find the data mapper mediator of micro integrator so you scroll down until you find this data mapper mediator and we can drag and drop it here so then this data mapper uh, mediator uh, stores is its configurations in some config set of configuration files so we can double click to open uh, or configure this um, data mapper so let's um, give some uh, name for this okay um, so new let's say new config so it needs somewhere to store the uh, configuration file so we have to create a new project for that as well so we'll create um, the module name um, let's, give, let's say um, data map, data map uh, um, registry right so we'll click on finish and it will create a new registry resource for us and we can click on ok so it will bring us to here which is the data mapper diagram view right in here what you have to do is you can just uh, load the input file as in here click on that and select the resource type as json since we are doing json we can have the other files as well click on json and go to file system and click the input json that you want to select and it will show you the structure of that input json right and then similarly for the output file we will also click on that as well and go to json file system and we will also go to click on output json right then we have to map 
uh, we have to create the mapping between these two, right? Uh, we will map this item to um, this item ID directly. And then this uh, total price, it's a multiplication of this price and volume. So we, have, we will have like several other things that in here. So we have arithmetic uh, operations here, condition operations. So since this is a multiplication operation, we go to arithmetic operations and we'll click the multiply button here, like here. So, so you can also configure this like in, if you, if you go to, if you like to right, right click on these. Um, so con if you click on configure multiply operator, so you can specify number of inputs that you want to give like, in this case, just two. So we'll map uh, this number and this, uh, this number and uh, so we'll like this here for more like nice view so we'll drag it this one and here and it will um, to map to here so the result is mapped to here yeah that's it we have con successfully created our, our data mapping so we'll go here and we have to do one more thing here because we have to use select the input type as um, JSON here as well. Um, so it will look for um, JSON schema. So you should see uh, that there are the registry that these things are automatically created for you, right? So finally we can um, return the response back to the client. You can drag and drop this uh, response mediator here, right? So then one thing that we forgot is to um, change the resource method type to post in the uh, in our API. So for that, we can click on this resource and change the method type to um, post since we are sending a JSON payload, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, save the project and click on this composite exporter and click, right click on that and uh, run. Have to select these two and click finish. Save and run. Okay, so, so the service is up. <coughs> so you can see uh, the available services here, deployed services here. You can just copy the URL for that. So it will be in, uh, in localhost. Can create a new service in Postman. Just paste the URL and see the element of that post. And inside body, we go row and text as JSON. We'll copy the JSON here and paste. Boom, we have our target JSON. Yeah, one more thing, guys. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe the channel and hit the like on this video. That's it. Let's see you in the next one.